My greetings to everyone. We are the students of Government Degree College for Women, Begumpet, presenting a brief overview of our project on eco-friendly synthesis and characterization of biometallic nanoparticles from banana leaf extract and study of its antimicrobial effect. Under the supervision of Dr. Rafia Sultana Ma'am and Dr. Pranita Ma'am, the main aim of our project is synthesis of biometallic nanoparticles from Mucca paradisiaca leaf extract. The scope of work is to bring down usage of chemicals which may cause increase in the toxicity levels by green synthesis. The objectives of our project are green synthesis of biometallic nanoparticles, optimization of conditions like pH and temperature. characterization of nanoparticles using uv and study of antimicrobial activity the unique characteristics that make nanoparticles to be synthesized biologically are low surface to volume ratio leads to better performances such as catalysis surface forces are very important while bulk forces are not as important metal nanoparticles have unique light scattering properties and also exhibit plasmon resonance Let's take a look at different methods of synthesis of nanoparticles which are of three types physical method chemical method and biological method we have opted for the synthesis of nanoparticles by biological method through green synthesis as it is cost effective and environmental friendly firstly fresh mucca paradisiaca leaves are taken neatly washed and dried on absorbent paper then chop the leaves and grind it and add deionized water to the leaf powder and boil it then filter and store it in a tight containers this is how banana leaf extract was prepared preparation of salt solution the salt solution was prepared by adding zinc acetate and copper sulfate in deionized water for synthesis of nanoparticles freshly prepared leaf extract was placed on a magnetic stirrer then add salt solution by drop by using a dropper at a temperature of 70 degrees celsius optimization of ph the buffer solutions are taken at different ph range of 8 ph 9 ph and 10 ph to know the nanoparticle synthesis optimization of temperature synthesis of bimetallic nanoparticles is done by varying temperatures like room temperature 60 degrees celsius and 70 degrees celsius characterization using uv spectra the optical density of green synthesized nanoparticles was measured using uv visible spectra and the graph of absorbance versus wavelength has been plotted antimicrobial activity the antimicrobial activity of copper and zinc nanoparticles are tested against microbial cultures of e coli pseudomonas and staphylococcus To isolate the single colonies of Pseudomonas, E. coli, and Staphylococcus, streaking is done on agar plates, and this technique is used to purify the organisms from contaminants. Agar disk diffusion method. It is widely used to evaluate the antimicrobial activity of plants or microbial extracts. Findings and analysis. The initial color of the solution is light green, and After stirring on the magnetic stirrer it turns into the sea green color color change indicates the presence of copper and zinc nanoparticles uv characterization the maximum absorption peak is obtained at 380 nanometers indicating the presence of zinc and copper bimetallic nanoparticle formation this is the graphical representation of uv spectroscopy the maximum synthesis of copper and zinc nanoparticles are observed at 8 ph and temperature of 70 degrees celsius this is the graphical representation of nanoparticles with different ph antimicrobial activity maximum inhibition zone recorded by banana plant leaves against various bacterial strains as tested by disk diffusion method the inhibitory zone of pseudomonas is 14 to 16 mm The inhibitory zone of E. coli is 12 to 14 mm. The inhibitory zone of Staphylococcus is 11 to 13 mm. Conclusion: A simple and green efficient synthesis method for synthesis of bimetallic nanoparticles from banana leaf extract has been reported and characterized using UV visible spectra. 
Our result shows that bimetallic nanoparticles synthesized has a potency against E. coli, Pseudomonas and Staphylococcus which shows the antimicrobial activity. Thank you.